Hi, my name is Ravi Kumar, Product Manager for Layer 7 SiteMinder. In this session, you will learn SiteMinder's OADC provider capabilities PKCE and step up authentication for public clients to avoid app impersonation and to overcome MITM attacks. As per OAuth 2.0 or OADC specification, there are two types of client applications. One is confidentials which can keep the client password and the other one is public clients which cannot hold the client password. Public client is an application that is not capable of keeping client password confidential. Any mobile app or single page app of public client that holds the client password would lead to losing password to attackers and that is true for JavaScript application as well. Since the client password is not available at the public client, there is a risk of losing tokens to malicious apps in the same device. And there is a chance that MITM attacks can happen in accessing sensitive applications. Next few slides. I will explain how to avoid the risk of losing tokens to the malicious apps. Let us go through an example flow how the malicious app can impersonate the legitimate apps to steal the tokens from OADC provider. In the picture, user authentication is successful. OADC provider gives the authorization code to legitimate app through browser. Malicious app which sits in the same device can get authorization code and it can exchange the code for an access token. Since the registered application is the public client, ODC provider does not expect client password to grant token. If the users are unaware of malicious apps in their devices, these apps can register with the same browser to intercept the authorization code from the browser to impersonate the application. That results losing of personal data to malicious apps. To avoid such kind of malicious attacks, Proof key for code exchange or PKCE or we can call it as PIXI is defined by ODC specification to securely grant tokens to public clients using authorization code flow. This flow diagram explains PKCE in authorization code flow. ODC client application generates code challenge and sends as part of the authorization code request. Provider generates the authorization code and stores the code challenge for the corresponding authorization code. In this flow, client tab should send the code verifier to the token endpoint. Provider will decode the code challenge and compare with the code verifier. If that matches, provider gives the token to the client application. With this flow, ODC provider would be able to give an error response in case of malicious apps trying to send authorization code without code verifier to the token endpoint. If you have a business requirement in using authorization code flow for your public clients, ensure to enable PKCE in SiteMinder ODC provider and let public client to generate code challenge in authorization code and token request flows. This helps to avoid the app impersonation attack. This is another use case where you have requirement of setting higher authentication levels for business critical applications to mitigate MITM attacks. Setting various authentication levels for different applications can be achieved by using authentication context class reference that is defined by OADC. SiteMinder ODC provider has capability to support the ACR that to ensure step up authentication for sensitive applications. ODC provider responds based on the desired authentication level by ODC client application. SiteMinder rechallenges user if the existing authentication level is lower than the requested authentication level. In this flow diagram, client app requests for authentication level 20. SiteMinder challenges user because the authentication level of an existing session lower than the required authentication level. I will show the demo to explain how to configure PIXI and step up authentication in SiteMinder OADC provider. In authorization provider, select dynamic authentication mode which displays the options to add ACR value, authentication level range and authentication URL. Here I already added three different ACRs with different ranges and corresponding authentication URL. If the client application request has ACR with value gold, provider will invoke redirect JSP2. These configurations I would use in the demo, runtime demo that will send the ACR value as silver and ACR value as gold. To enable PIXI for the public clients, open the client object, select application type as the public and enable PKC option to avoid app impersonation attacks for public clients. Make sure that your client application should be able to send the code challenge in the authorization code flow and code verifier in the token flow. PKCE and ACR are independent capabilities. If you have no requirement in using ACR, PKCE can be configured for public clients. And another note, PIXI is not applicable for implicit flow. To show the runtime behavior of the public client application, I'm opening an app one. 
after providing all the details user will be challenged site manager authenticates and generates a session now i am accessing application 2 with a client id redirect uri and acr as a silver with a code challenge as part of the authorization code request since the session already exists with the required authentication level site manager does not ask for credentials if you notice in this flow client tab sends the code challenge in the authorization code request in the token request client tab sends the code verifier value from these details site manager generates the code verifier from the code challenge that was sent by the client tab in the code request flow and it compares the generated code verifier value with the client tab code verifier value and grants token if both matches otherwise it responds with error message the third client application sending acr as a goal that means it expects higher authentication level in the configuration we mapped higher authentication level for the acr value goal site manager compares the existing authentication level with the required authentication level and challenges the user to generate authorization code that concludes the runtime demo part for more detailed information about this product click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page